All right. So after they epically nerfed the game corner in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, they replaced it with something called Voltorb Flip. Now I've heard a lot of complaints about this game, being how like a lot of people complain about it, saying they don't know how to beat it and stuff. But I've made it to higher levels, so I'll help you get coins so you can save your money on those performance-enhancing vitamins I've been hearing so highly about. So what I've drawn here is a little grid, because so, the quality on this uh, camera I'm using is pretty bad. So the top row on each shows the amount of points you can earn in each row, and the bottom part with the little Pokeball symbol is how many Voltorbs are in there. Now, I'm going across this row, putting all ones, because there's five total points and zero Voltorb. So... 5 divided by 5 total boxes equals 1, an average of 1, so there's going to be 1 point in each box. So, as you can see here, that's what I'm doing, eventually. So, flip, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, that's all good. And now I'm going to go by this 8 point row with 0 Voltorb. So, there's a 3, and there's a 2. I mean, yeah. So, I'm just going to write those down, so you guys can see it clearer. Three, one, two, and one. Now the next thing you want to do is, uh, well, do you see this row right here at the bottom? That means there's four points in one Voltorb, and that row, and that row. So just put, use your marker and just like put Voltorb checks right next to them, because, well, you're not going to need them because they're either having a 1 or a Voltorb in it, so it's kind of pointless to check them, unless you feel like losing, which is totally cool if you're into that stuff. So I'm just going to mark all these. God, this takes forever. Mark, mark. I, I, I'm kind of slow, so it, it might take me a while to mark all these damn boxes. So I marked all the boxes, which I know have nothing of value in there. And I'll go back to the big board and just do what I did on the Game Boy. So you know not to check those. Ever. Just like, don't do it, man. So I'm just like going back, crossing off whatever needs to be crossed off. And yeah, you know. Well, I finished crossing off all those boxes now. So I'm looking at this top row, and what's left? Two points and two Voltorb. So I'm just going to mark those two, So, because I now know that the rest of the boxes only contain ones in Voltorb. So if you ever get a number in the right-hand or bottom column showing that the number of points is equal to the number of boxes. You just want to get rid of those. So now I'm going to investigate this box because I want to. Because I think there's a good chance that I'm going to get a number. Um, so I don't know what I was doing there. So just pop open the box. A 1. All right. So now I know that there's a two, 3 in there because it all adds up. So back to the board. And you see I drew already drew in the 3. So, and since now, like, again, 1.2 Voltorbs, 3 boxes, I'm just going to get rid of that. And since there's, well, one place that I haven't marked or already crossed off yet, I'm just going to go there, and I know it's a 2. Because 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 Voltorbs would equal 5, wouldn't it? Or, I mean, 4, in this case. 2! So, that's 36 coins for me, and I cleared level 1. Nothing more to it. Three things to remember here. One, check off any boxes in a row with zero Voltorb. Two, make sure you delete any possible row who uh, that totals up to the total number of boxes. So saying like four points, one Voltorb, you just want to get rid of those like right now or that. Now I'm on to level two. Just like make educated guesses. Oh, hold on. One more row. So, like, here's my third and final point. Make educated guesses. And not just, like, random ones. 
so like right here too, because I just assumed that there'd be a big number there. So back to the big board. Oh, actually, that was a three. Six, one, and eight, one. Eight is like a lot of points. And now what I'm doing here again is marking out all the rest because I have three points remaining in one Voltorb. So it's not really going to help me anytime soon to check any of those boxes. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Uh, use the marking map. Bam. And bam. All right. So now I know both of these are good because it, it has to total up to eight. So that... And so that ups to five. So one point would be in one of those checked off, and then another one would be a Voltorb. So that'd be adding up to eight if I had a two in the top, which I do. So draw that in. And now I'm going to get rid of the uh, b rest of the boxes on the top because I have three points left in one Voltorb. So that is up to the total number of remaining boxes. And now I have two more places to check. So I'm just going to take my time here. And there are my points. They're both there. Can't be that hard, right? So I cleared level 2 with the three tricks I discussed. And now I'll be attempting level 3 in approximately now. So I drew out the grid again, and I got rid of, I just like marked all the boxes so you wouldn't have to sit through that again. I know, it was kind of annoying. So I'm just going to go down the bottom row. So one, one, you know, if I can click it, one, three, and one. So I'm just going to mark those off right now. So I kind of like went over those. Um, the row of zero on the bottom doesn't really matter. So this was actually a tough one because I kind of don't know what to do. So I'm just going to start on the second row from the top. So I was planning on going there, but decided to go on the one uh, right of that because three points have already been used up, and I th thought it would be safer to investigate this box. And I do get coins from it. So that's always a good thing. So two points. And now I know that this box is also a good one. Because otherwise I won't add up all the points. So that's a one. So that's not te the end of the world. So now I know the box all the way on the right is a good box. So Because otherwise I wouldn't add up seven. One plus two plus one plus Voltorb equals four. So, there has to be a 3 in there. So, I predict there will be a 3 there. And I'm right. There's a 3. So, now I'm up to 18 coins this round. And now I can also get rid of that box and the one underneath it. Because there's one point left and two Voltorb, 3. And there's 3 remaining boxes, so I can just get rid of those. Now, I'm in a tight spot here, so I'm going to check up top, and I find a 1 there. So that's good. So there has to be a 3 right there. I believe. Yep, 3. And what do you know? It's kind of easy if you can do this correctly. But it can, get, it can get frustrating sometimes when you have to like blindly guess. And I believe I had to guess in that situation. But now I realize that I guessed correctly. Because there could have been a Voltorb there. And there's a 2 right at the top. So that's level 3 for you. 108 coins. Two victories on level 3 will get you that Abra that you've wanted for so long. Without having to stop and whatnot. And there you have it.